And you can come right up to the fence. Um, it's been a little challenging. I think that. Um, and his rough's not up, though it might get up. Um, but that kind of stiff-legged walk and that slow wariness uh -huh. um, is kind of a sign that he's not entirely comfortable. Okay. Um, like he, he might be sick or something? May. No, no. He's just, you know, we're not sure. Wolves, wolves are like humans. They hit maturity between two and three, and they completely change from when they're pups mm -hmm. at that point. But then throughout the rest of their lives, their, their attitudes and their mannerisms and their comfort zones and how they behave and what they do and how dominant they are changes constantly. I so, huh. you know, a wolf, the wolves on the tour are wolves that are usually very comfortable with people. Mm -hmm. And on occasion, after a while, one just gets tired of it. <laughs> you know, they've had enough and it's time to move them and switch someone else out. Oh, I see. Um, so, and that's Kiawatha back there. Okay. You can close your mate. And so, let me go back to my first finishing story here. <laughs> when people were collecting wolves and wolf hybrids before it became illegal in Washington State to own or sell wolves, which it is now, mm -hmm. um, people would get these animals and think, oh, I can train them and establish dominance when they're young and it'll be all good, but it doesn't work that way. Yeah. So all of these animal moles, both wolves and pe pure wolves and hybrids, were just being turned out on the side of highways or in forests or in fields wow. where they usually died. Um, mm -hmm. Either they'd end up getting hit by a car, or they'd starve to death because mm -hmm. they didn't know how to take and care of themselves. themselves. Or they'd see a group of people and think, oh, food, mm -hmm. and go running up, expecting kindness, and get shot. Mm -hmm. um, so, so many, and some of them, people, they'd start to get hard to handle, and people would just put them down. Mm -hmm. So this place was formed for, for wolves like that. Okay. And at first they took a lot of hybrids, but eventually there became so many wolves that we rarely take hybrids anymore. Mm -hmm. We get many calls a week often oh. about, you know, will you take my hybrid? And there's just too many. Wow. So we try and educate about a few major things. One about um, you know, the history of wolves in our country, why they're important to our country, mm -hmm. and of course trying to preserve those that are here and bring more back. Yeah. We try to educate about the land they need and why it's important to protect their natural ranges. Mm -hmm. and we try to teach people about the true nature of the wolf, and that it's not this ravening thing to be afraid of unless you're really not smart. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then also we talk a lot about wolf hybrids, mm -hmm. because for one thing, the gray wolf, and you'll see a difference when we get to the red wolf. Um, gray wolf will not, absolutely will not breed, breed outside of its own kind mm -hmm. unless it's a forced breeding. Mm -hmm. So when you end up with wolf hybrids, that means it's, e it means it's either artificial insemination or they're literally chain them up to a position where they have no choice. Wow. And it's it causes an animal that's not right in the head. Mm -hmm. um, and most people think, well, that'll be much more safe, but it's actually not. Okay. 